sun pyramids, pentagrams, all-seeing eyes. These corporate luciferic logos are everywhere, and they are not harmless. Symbols vibrate and project the energy of what they symbolize. Open your mind. 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 If you want to know the identity of the men who rule the world from the shadows, all you have to do is unscramble the puzzle pieces of the 2012 Olympic Games logo. Yes, many have commented that it looks like a distorted swastika. But if you unscramble the five puzzle pieces, you will probably make the intended mistake of thinking the logo is the numbers 2012, which is what you're supposed to think. But look again. The unscrambled logo spells the word Zion, and to make no mistake about it, the Zionist designer dotted the I. The kleptocracy of royals, banksters, and corporate criminals have painted a bleak future for humanity with their apocalyptic movies, murals, and monuments. In his book, Antichrist in a Cup of Tea, Tim Cohen states that the key leadership of the New World Order agenda is the House of Windsor in London. The Windsors are the real axis of evil that is driving world events, says Cohen. Some believe the Vatican is in charge, but look at the design of the Vatican from overhead. It is shaped like a keyhole, and inside that keyhole is the British flag and its symbolic double-cross design. The game plan formula for the New World Order is a simple one. Order out of chaos. Create global chaos by engineering and financing both sides of wars, revolutions and movements. Then create order by offering the desperate, war-weary world a peaceful solution. Enter the handsome, charming peacemaker, Prince William, who turns 33 in 2015. 33 is the most revered and sacred number in Freemasonry. 33 is also the age of Jesus when he was allegedly resurrected. By 2015, the desperate, war-torn world will be ready to embrace a leader with a global peace plan and a message of hope. William will be a counterfeit messiah. His message of hope will deliver a forced peace by disarming the world of its most devastating weapons of war. He will rule the world with his one world army from an eternal throne in Jerusalem. The throne and temple have already been designed. Just like the symbols that are hidden in corporate logos, the 1% that rule, the 1% that rule the 99%, hide in plain sight. They hide by reigning instead of ruling, and they hide behind the walls of one of the world's biggest tourist attractions. 
Over the centuries, we have fought and died by the millions to enrich these royal lowlifes. We have worshipped them, labored for them, paid taxes to them, carried their flags, sung their anthems, and we have even wiped their butts for them. If we want to save our planet, we need to get up off our knees right now while there is still a window of opportunity. What does it mean to get up off our knees? It means refusing to stand at attention and sing national anthems about bombs bursting in air, or about a noble and gracious queen or king who is neither noble nor gracious. It means not voting in the corrupt electoral system. A vote for the lesser of two evils is still a vote for evil. It means not wearing corporate logos and imitating idiot gestures that vibrate luciferic energy. It means giving up our need to worship gods, messiahs, saviors, aliens, gurus, politicians and rock stars. When we worship, we give our power away. It means not supporting troops that fight and kill and die in unjust wars to enrich the filthy rich. It means withholding our tax dollars that sponsor the bankster mafia, their puppet politicians and their genocidal wars. It means taking our money out of the bankster-owned banks and their rigged stock market casinos, then finding an alternative. It means freeing ourselves from heart-numbing addictions to drugs, sexploitation, money and violence, and rediscovering our natural innocence. It means cancelling our cable TV and the toxic propaganda that is infecting our souls. And most important of all, it means fearlessly rising up and deposing humanity's common enemy that hides in plain sight. The British Empire will last for... <sighs> the British Empire will last for a thousand years!